Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at two of the best semi-autos in BF1, the M1916 and the Mondragon. And the reason for this is because, well, as you guys know, of all the weapons in Battlefield, in every game, the semi-autos are usually my favourite. As you might remember, this isn't the first time we've taken a look at these guns. I actually made some videos about them back in the Alpha and the Beta. But with that being said, the one thing I haven't done yet is put them head to head. So today, that's what we're going to do in this video. Before we get into the hardcore stats though, I should mention that although these guns do have a lot of things in common, they do have one major difference. And that's the fact that while both guns have an optical variant, the M1916 has factory and marksman variants, whereas the Mondragon has storm and sniper variants. What this means is that in some cases, certain attachments or optics that are available on one gun might not necessarily be available on the other. But with that being said, as far as I can tell, this really only makes a difference to the long range variants. So to keep things fair, we're just gonna focus on the other ones instead. Now, to kick off, like I said, both of these guns do have a lot of things in common, like for example, their damage model and their muzzle velocity. For example, both guns deal a max damage of 40 out to around 26 meters, which drops off to 35 at around 51 meters. What this means is that unless you land a headshot, you are going to need at least three shots to take out a target at all ranges, which fortunately should be pretty easy with both of these guns, because like I said, they're both pretty accurate and they have a very fast muzzle velocity of 800 meters per second. Speaking of accuracy, well, once again, even though each variant is slightly different, both of these guns have the same accuracy stats across the board. All except for the M1916 Factory, which is exactly the same as the Mondragon Storm, except for much better recoil and spread decrease. Apart from that, though, the real differences between these guns are actually when it comes to the rate of fire, ammo capacity, recoil, and reload speed because although the Mondragon is easier to control and fires slightly faster, on the other hand, the M1916 has over double the capacity and reloads much quicker. Now, bearing all of this in mind, what do the stats actually mean for us in game and which one is the better rifle? Well, to begin with, I'd like to say that it means that one gun is slightly better in the hands of a good player and the other gun is a bit better for noobs. The thing is though that both of these guns have got stats that make them tricky to master and honestly, I don't think either one is good for beginners. But in saying that, I think if I did have to pick one that was slightly easier, I'd definitely say the M1916 because with 16 extra rounds, it's pretty hard to go wrong. One thing that is pretty clear though is that if you're looking for a close range variant with open sights, then you'll definitely want to be going for the M1916. And that's because, well, like I said, the factory variant is just statistically better than the Mondragon Storm, and not just that, it's also one of the first guns you unlock. I mean, the Mondragon does have a slightly faster rate of fire, sure, but it's still not fast enough to outshoot an SMG. So in that case, I think I'd rather have a ton of extra bullets to spare in case I miss a few shots, because you can be sure you won't survive if you get caught on the reload. Now, as for the other variants, well, I'd probably have to say that when it comes to long range, you probably don't want to be using a semi-auto to begin with. And that's basically because sniper rifles at the moment are ridiculously good, and unlike in BF4, you probably won't stand a chance against one with a semi-auto. What that means is that you probably want to avoid the long range variants altogether and just stick to the optical or the close range variants. And like I said, the M1916 is probably better for close range, but when it comes to the optical variant, I guess it just comes down to which one you prefer. Once again though, if I had to choose a winner, I'd probably pick the M1916 again because even though it fires slightly slower and kicks harder, it's not a huge problem. And that's because you don't want to be firing one of these guns too fast anyway because if you do, your spread is just going to be all over the place. That's not to say that the Mondragon isn't still a good gun though, and you never know, maybe in some situations it'd be even better. So all I can say is just try them out for yourself and see what you think, because at the end of the day, only then will you really know which of these guns is gonna work better for you. 
But anyway, guys, that just about brings you up to speed with these guns. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.